Hey guys, I'm here in Falmouth, Massachusetts on the beach and I'm here this week to help film a conference. We'll get into that more over the next few days, but today I wanted to talk about vlogging with the Panasonic GH5. So let's get right into it. Let me introduce you guys to the Panasonic GH5 vlogging rig. Alright guys, so the first test I want to do today is the field of view test. So right now we are looking at a picture of me and my surroundings on my OnePlus 5T cell phone. So what you can see here is some of the sand behind me, some houses and the sky above it, and then this building to my left you can see partially up the wall to the second floor, and then just the beginning of the steps here to my left, your right. So now we are in the Panasonic Lumix GH5, and what you can see is a much wider field of view. So before we could not see the water of the ocean, and now we can definitely see that. We see much more of the sky above those houses, to my left you can see the full staircase and all the way up and above the building to my left your right so i should point out that this first test is more of a comparison between the lenses of the two cameras so on here on the panasonic lumix gh5 we have a variable 12 to 60 millimeter lens and during that test it was fully retracted so uh, that in combination with the micro four thirds sensor is what gives you such a wide field of view but then on the other hand, with something like a cell phone with a fixed lens, you cannot do any zooming unless it's a digital zoom, but that doesn't matter. You are stuck with what you have. Whereas with the Lumix, you have the ability to switch your lens if you buy a new one. Okay, so the second test I wanna to do today is a stability test. So this one's kinda of hard to describe, but take a look at the picture right now and how my environment around me is pretty fixed and what moves in the picture is me as I walk here on the beach. So what is happening here is the software in the camera is stabilizing the picture as it's capturing it. I'm not doing anything in post. This is all just software-based stability, and that is how we come up with such a smooth picture with not a lot of jitteriness. So as we hop on over to the GH5, you'll immediately notice a difference in the stabilization. So there's much more movement going on from side to side as I walk the same exact path that we just took with the cell phone. And that is because there is, well, there is stabilization happening here, but not nearly as much as there is going on with the OnePlus 5T cell phone. All right, so this is a sound test. I have the OnePlus 5T cell phone in my left hand, and I have the Panasonic GH5 in my right hand. And over here, you can probably hear that there's minimal wind noise, if at all. And over here, I'm assuming there's a good amount of wind noise coming into the microphone. All right guys, so this next test is going to be a low light test. So what I'm gonna do is hop behind here and close the blinds and see how each camera performs in low light situation. So right now we're looking at the GH5 Lumix and over here we are looking at the OnePlus 5T. So put a mental picture in your head, we're gonna close the blinds, see how it looks. All right, I'm back and we are looking at the OnePlus 5T with a low light situation. It's very grainy and you can probably barely see me. Now over here in the GH5, we have a much clearer picture, much smoother picture, not as much distortion, and it's ultimately brighter. So all in all, the GH5 performs much better in a low light situation. All right guys, that's all the time I have for comparisons for today. Just to summarize, when you're vlogging with a rig like this with a cell phone on a tripod, it's going to be a much cheaper and much more portable option. Whereas when you are vlogging with a rig like this where you have a mirrorless camera like the GH5, a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, and a Gorillapod, it's a much more expensive option. It's harder to carry around, but on the upside, you will get much better video quality when recording no matter where you are. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, my name is Tony Florida and I make videos like this every day. I've been vlogging on my cell phone for the past 99 days. So if you can't tell, topics like this interest me. If you like what you see, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you do, I'll see you tomorrow.